I saw the best clip on YouTube this week. It was Joe Rogan in 2007 on the Tom Green Show. And in it, you could literally hear him get the idea to start his legendary podcast that he ends up launching two years later. And well, as they say, the rest is history. It really is different, you know, yeah. than, than television. This or is anything. way better. It's like radio, but it's like television. And the genre is different because we can sit here and ramp. You know, there isn't that time constraint. You know, there isn't that pressure. But that wasn't even the best part of the interview. What I loved was this sweet little nugget of an idea that Tom Green came up with. For all of us creatives at large, he said it kind of in passing, and if you think about it, it's a pretty bold idea to talk about back then, especially when you realize how bold it still sounds today. But there's no way to absorb this concept or even less know how to implement it unless you give up your fascination, your addiction, your religious dedication to your God. Instagram. I've got a lot of neat ideas I want to talk to you about. Listen, I want to play the clip. I really do. But then again, there's a part of me that just wants to keep it all to myself, just so it's not wasted. I just feel like everyone's brain has been turned into this silly, putty, mush, diarrhea of social media consumption. Take, for example, email, right? I tell creatives all the time, start an email list. And they look at me like I'm crazy. They ignore the quote unquote advice that I'm giving them, but it's not even advice. It's like your ship is sinking, bro. Here's a raft. Now, what about like the, um, the email marketing and stuff like that? Are you into that at all? Mm -mm. You don't collect emails, mm -mm. no email list no. or nothing like that? That's, that's no. Mm. I don't do that. Okay, let me put this in context. This snippet is these young kids interviewing a successful rap producer, and they're trying to convince him, their guest on the show, to use email marketing to rise to even higher levels. I kind of looked into it, but for some people I've seen it work, for some people I've seen it doesn't, so. Really, I, I would, I would, I'm gonna give you this. I wouldn't say it's something that works for certain people. What it is is you being able to intentionally contain your audience. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All the people that's in tune with you, that's what that's for. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. What's amazing here is how much resistance the artist has accepting that maybe he's leaving money on the table, that maybe email is important, but the hosts don't stop there. They go in on him even harder. Bro. Oh my God. God? Yes, bro. It is. Um, why are you here? Please don't tell me that you're trying to get people less addicted to IG again. Yeah, kind of. I tried that. It doesn't work. God, I can't give up on my fellow humans. Email is the mothership, but the world isn't ready for that yet. Now, I've, I've been getting real big on email, just at least collecting emails and, um, you know, keeping people updated. Definitely. I feel that. I feel that email thing, though. Yeah, no, I fuck with the emails, man. I, I slept on that shit for the like, crazy long <laughs> I was just saying, like, man, no one's gonna open their email and be like, oh, let me go look at this. But man, that, <laughs> I, was, nah. I was dead wrong, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. One of my most ambitious initiatives this year is trying to wean my fellow creatives off of their dependence and addiction to Instagram. Everyone is so seduced by the instant thrill of IG that they forget that this seduction comes at the expense of something much, much larger. When you're not following your actual purpose or you're diluting your vision too much just so you could be more attractive to some obscure algorithm, in the end, all you are left with is a faint whisper of what was unique about you in the first place. That's why this Tom Green quote was so perfectly timed to hear today. I've got a lot of neat ideas I want to talk to you about because yeah. I know you're into this computer thing. I think we create a national interweb, we sure. call it, okay? Because we're on the national internet. I think we make a thing called the national interweb. We're all creative people that are online on the web, link themselves together through a series of links and then create a mass like a portal gauge, a portal yes. into the advertising revenue yeah. stream <laughs> yeah no shit this is exactly what we got to do right now there's all these artists and creative people stuck in their little corner of the world just starting out 
alone. No system, no feedback, no one to give them clues on how to approach things. And all they have is what they see on Instagram, on YouTube, and what they imagine is happening in the background of these things. Let's demystify all of that, you and me. Let's connect all these creatives together. Not even for world domination or anything silly like that, but just so these more obscure and non-mainstream voices can carve out a little space in the universe too. How? Well, that's why you're here, right? It's a journey. And we're just getting started. Returning to the mothership. <laughs>